Hey guys, it's Brenda from my wee boobins cradle. I have Naomi Rochelle here. I never showed her in, I think, years, guys. It's been a long time since I've done a video on this cutie. She's so cute. I bought her secondhand from a good friend of mine back in the day. Um, I'm not sure if she re uh, collects rebones anymore, but her name was Cassandra. But she was reborn by Lucy Gerald, which I have many dolls by Lucy. So I love this little one. She's an older sculpt. Um, I forget her sculpt name. The Zavi, like the X A V I by I think Andres. Already, I think, but I'm not sure. I know she's a Zavi sculpt. I'll find out. So she is three quarter length, and my light just went out because it's warm in here. Um, my lamp. I'll show you in a second. <laughs> so I'm in the nursery and it's one of those old fashioned lamps when it gets too hot it um, turns itself off so here is Naomi and she has been in the sleeper for a long time my hands are super dry I don't wear lotion around the dolls. So I will like if I I'll never touch their vinyl if I have lotion on me. And if I'm wearing makeup, I never put my face on them. I will if they're wearing clothing. Or wrapped up pretty good. Oh, I feel like I'm stretching too much. I need to move. I need to move closer. I'm stretching. Let's see. So, there, that way you don't have to reach it. I restuffed Naomi. I um I put these beads in her and you can't even like she it makes her so squishy you can't hear that crunch of the glass beads because these beads they are glass beads but they're powder fine Oh, she's so sweet. I think she has three quarter. But yeah, she was reborn by Lucy Gerard, which I, I mean, Carly is made by Lucy. And I have many dolls made by Lucy. Uh, my Anastasia kit is made by Lucy. Now, people were wondering... If these ever stain in the cloth and no they don't oh look at look her flexibility oh my goodness <laughs> it's cuz they're jointed limbs oh uh, and she's heavy she has but she's so soft now it's almost like a dragon skin ecoflex 30 silicone pretty much I don't even know if you could buy those anymore. Uh, my my Anamelia, she is made by Ecoflex 30. She's my partial silicone. Now she has a boo-boo right here. I'm kind of sad that Cassandra did not disclose this when she sold it to me. 
But Sandra's a good friend. Well, from years ago. I never heard from her in many years. My voice sounds tired. I'm not overly tired, but maybe a little. And her headband has been in her hair like for so long. Yeah. So I do have a brush. Not too loud there. I don't want to bend over. My back has been sore lately. So, but you know what? I didn't even find an outfit for her. So let's, I'll do that. Okay, I tried to change your angles. Hopefully you can see good. Um, I would really love, because I'm tired of winter, although it's nice and sunny today, so I thought that I would love to try this on her. Isn't it so pretty? And the back looks like this. Oh, and I keep forgetting to try to describe things. This is a vintage looking romper, short sleeve romper. It's a cream, like a creamish green, light green tinted material with um, like, are these roses? They are, they look like wild roses, not store-bought roses, but wild roses. Some are open, some are closed. Um, they have foliage on them. It's so pretty. And I don't know what these little dimples are called. They're not dimples. They're raised bumps everywhere. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. I feel like I'm not right. This is from Pat Pat. And it's a size three to six months. Although this is a small three to six months because I'm going to put it on Naomi and she is only a zero to three size doll. So um most of the things from Pat Pat run large. This particular outfit is very small on her. But it's a very it has lace everywhere. Sheer see through um I am tool type material like wedding dress. Material is so pretty. I am not good at describing things, guys, so excuse me. But there are ruffles around the collar up into her neck. It's very vintage -y and I love it. So I found this uh, glass bottle. It has a non use no home nipple in it, so I can easily play with it as much as I want. It's by. I'm not even sure. Uh, I can't see that. Momo. Momo Vintage Glass. I already filled it with fake milk. And I love. I love it. It's already filled. So I thought. It will go good with her outfit. I have a vintage. Pacifier to go with her. Um, I have choices of three bonnets to go. Oh, sticking. This one doesn't look that vintagey, but maybe a little. And then I have this one that looks more vintagey, but super white. And then I have this laced. This one looks the, the most vintagey so I think I might try this one and then for socks I have these beautiful white cream socks with lace around the the top and there's like a race uh, laced cloth rose <laughs> I'm not very good at describing so let's try this on her
because I am in the mood for spring, definitely. And yes, that is my key chair. It's still very cold where I live. I live in northern Manitoba, Canada. And tons of snow still. Oh, this looks cute. I thought I felt a tag. Maybe I didn't. Let's get it check out. What else is said? So flip her over. I know there's a little old fashioned type button. Back. Freaking. These are always hard. Tucker. There. Is there another one? No. No. Okay. Oh, Naomi, you're a heavy, heavy French girl. She looks French <laughs> to me. She is so cute. Okay, hopefully you can see everything. Do this romper part. See how I do this. I've never put this outfit on a doll yet. So Naomi is a first. Snaps. Oh, he's sweet. You can see that. And she has earrings. She has light pink um, pearl stud earrings. Let's try these socks. Let me see. Yeah. First time. Actually, I have socks that can go up higher. Like, I should try those and see what they look like on this outfit so that her legs can be totally covered. But, okay. Now for the bonnets. See what looks best. I have this kind. I have this kind. Which might be small. This might be small on her. Well, not really. Actually, it's okay. It's slightly small. I can't, I won't be able to do uh, this under her chin. It's Velcro. So, I don't think so. This one is also Velcro. But... It was kind of too big. I don't like it. Oh, it's sticking. <laughs> the Velcro is sticking to her lace. Okay. Now, if this one is too big, I will. Oh. This actually looks pretty good with this well I found it okay but you're not tall enough okay I'll be back so here she is Aww. looking so cute in this outfit 
Oh, she's so still. So here's that vintage. This is the most vintage bottle that I have, I guess. I'll show you. I have this. I found this bonnet too, but it's giant. That's for Simona, which is over there. Super big heads <laughs> for this. So here is my bottle collection. And I do love the vintage, well, it's sort of vintage. It's from the late 90s, early 2000s uh, Playtex. But I wanted, these are my glass collections. The only glass one, I have two preemies. It's not glass. This one, this is a preemie glass. This one is too, but with the white. Oh, and this one is not this has um downy or fabric softer inside and it's like totally solid now but i was thinking of this one it was glass born free but i didn't seal that yet so i don't want to use that oh and there's another seaman like one so i have a few of these smaller glass ones. i really like this one for vintage but i mean naomi is a technically realistically she's too old for a little four ounce so and then oh wait i don't want that to fall i have my mason jar bottle but it's like the bigger one the original one that I made like long time ago years ago and then here's my little baby mason jar I this lid will fit on here perfectly she's too big for that too big for that look at this sediment shake them up and they're like new again as, as soon as you add anything to the lotion, it will start to go like this. So this is lotion water and like uh, vanilla extract to give it that color. I have this one too, but I don't know. I was thinking of the other one. There's more. This one does not look. There's this one. I pulled this one out, but... And then there's this glass one too, but it's modern, born free, I think, yeah. <laughs> there's the leg is a blood bottle, so, <laughs> no, no, she's not my zombie. I have a few alternatives in my collection that I love blood bottles, but, but yeah, so I chose, here's my room. Nothing much has changed except for, um, I put Ronnie Sue back. I might take this off of her, but she is so sweet in this outfit. I love her in this outfit. So she hangs out with Amka. So. So yeah, this is, this is one that I have decided on. To accompany her with, um, oh, and as for a blanket, I found, this is a beautiful boat cloth, don't need it. This one, this beautiful, but do you think it's too much all white? I don't know. I don't know, I think it's, I think it's too much cream, like, everywhere. It needs a pop of pink or something. <laughs> but, and then I have this to accompany her in pictures. And maybe I have like, here's, there, I do have a pink, like, um, older fashion type, um, blanket. 
think it might be out in the living room. Oh. Let's see. This pile I have to go through. So. Hmm. There's Chloe hanging out, chilling out. She is so cute. She has a banana bottle. That. Oh. It's right here with Baby. Baby doesn't need it. She needs work. My Cheyenne. And he needs work. My Zolan Francis. Anyways, I knew I had one. Here, Chloe. Let's see them like this. Isn't that cute? <laughs> there you go. You should be in a bottle. <laughs> so, news guys, I guess I'll go for now. Um. Um, oh, here's a strawberry shortcake quilted with lace on it. I don't know, we'll see. So, <laughs> I'm getting distracted. So, yes, guys, hope that you're having a great day. Here is Naomi. She is so sweet. So, until next time, guys, thank you so much for being here and spending time with me. And until next time, bye, guys. Love you. Bye, guys.